Welcome back, Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat, and I'm Raven. And today, we're doing uh, one of my babies. We're gonna be doing Sailor Moon soap. I'm the Raven. Sailor, be sure to Sailor Moon. I'm excited. You've been making me watch Sailor Moon. Now I'm kind of into it. Yes. Yeah, so we're almost done with season one of the original. <laughs> it's so long. I'd forgotten it was like 40 something episodes. <sighs> the other seasons get shorter. It's okay. There's only 200 episodes total. Only 200. It's only 200. We're only like a quarter of the way through, and then I get to watch Crystal. Yes. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, and maybe by the time we get to watch Crystal, uh -huh. the new season of Crystal will come out. And so we might get to a point where I haven't seen him either. <laughs> okay, so we got our oils. I'm going to go ahead and put in our la water. It's got our sodium lactate in it. Mm -hmm. Raven's trying to prevent the chaos before it starts. <laughs> Just so y'all know. <laughs> With mixed, mixed results, to say the least. Yep. Is that going to make you black? Yeah. Do you require a black oxide? No. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. What do you require, darling? So we're going to start with black onyx enviro glitter. Oh, yeah. This soap. Glittery as <laughs> Great. I don't remember seeing that on your design notes. So we're gonna go ahead and add this black onyx and viral glitter to the smaller one. Jesus, that's a lot. God <laughs> what is the usage rate on this? Two teaspoons per pound of oils. I only used one. <laughs> one gigantic <laughs> overflowing teaspoon, which was basically two. Okay, so we might need a little of that black pearl. Black pearl? Black pearl. So next up, Black Pearl from Nurture. Because it's still going to be shimmery at that rate. Because I've noticed that the oxide tends to um, matte things out a bit. I don't want matte here. There we go. How's that look? Looks good. Nice and shimmery. Is that dark enough for you? Yeah, it's fine. I don't want it to be like super black. Even though we've gotten to the to the part where you're just like, oh, that just got dark. It, it did get dark. God dang. Like, it's been this super fluff show, and then all of a sudden, those last few episodes, it got really dark. I mean, I don't know if I should really sit there and be like, uh, no spoilers for a show that came out in the 80s. Or 80s, right? 80s or 90s? I mean, I watched it in the 90s. I, If I remember correctly, it came out in, like, the 80s. All right, well, still, for a show that's nearly as old as I am... I don't know if I can sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, no spoilers, but there's a lot of death all of a sudden in this show. Like, dang. We got serious here, people. Okay, so next color we're going to be using. Starry Night. So, I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on, let's... Whoa. Super gorgeous. It looks a little lighter now that I turned the light on in you know on camera yeah that's a lot it's a lot darker. darker what is the maximum that i can use in here <laughs> go for the maximum right always you didn't see a number nope so you're just just gonna just go for it huh yep oh jesus <laughs> It's gonna need more. I think you're gonna need um, more than just the glitter. Yeah. I think you're gonna need an actual color. What's the glitter, most glitter blue we got in the, oh, that ocean blue. 
so much glitter flying around on the screen right now. Yes. So we're going to try just a touch of brilliant blue to try and get bring some more blue in here because it's shimmery. I think you're still going to get what you want. Do you want to do it? I will let you do it. I may have to just suck it up and mix and just fold the fragrance in. Gently. That's better. Finally! Color. Now fragrance. <laughs> okay, so the fragrance we're going to be using is vanilla sandalwood. Mm, I love sandalwood. Mm, mm. It smells so relaxing and pretty. It does. You know what another one that I found find to be like really pretty and relaxing is? Hmm. Um, vanilla sage. Ooh. Which I only recently discovered. I really like that scent combination. Oh. Oh, yes. This is the color I wanted. So we're just going to start with a little bit of black in the mold. Just enough to cover the base. And this is where Raven can no, no longer control my chaos. <laughs> I'm just going to have to sit back and, and hope for the best. Yep. Behind the camera here. Can you move that bucket for me? Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so it begins, y'all. Do you need a glitter concoction? <laughs> Do you want me to show off what you used for this? Go ahead. All right. So she's got a glitter combo here of Super Sparkles Enviro Glitter, Diamond Dust Mica from Nature's Garden, and Silver Hollow from Nurture Soap. I'm not getting this very straight, but it's okay. You want to use your fingers, or do you maybe want to just sort of like bend the the silicone liner and just sort of like sprinkle? I'm worried that it's going to be too chaotic if I do it that way. Too chaotic for you? It's supposed to look like stars. <laughs> Is the black setting up too? A little bit, yeah. I didn't even mix that one as much. It's probably because it's kind of cold. Makes sense. Okay, go for it. I need to. I'll go just grab popsicle stick. I will I'm make you do what I want. Plop it a little bit to help mix it. I feel like it's gonna be super random. Uh, star pattern. That's good though. That's what you're going for, right? Do you want black first this time? Yes. And then after this, we'll add this, add, add uh, the one, the first embed <laughs> of your mini mini embeds. I am not Englishing that very well, guys. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. I am not Englishing very well at all. Cause we still need to put these in. So we got our little crescent moon. And it's gonna go in off to the side a little bit. Just gonna go ahead and push this in. So it is almost completely submerged. Okay, y'all. Last little bit of blue going on top. You are better when it <laughs> starts to thicken up than me, and I want my baby to look pretty. We all want your baby to look pretty, don't worry. I don't look at you for two seconds. <laughs> I wasn't done with that. Go ahead and tap it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I regret looking down and not at you directly. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> 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 
Now, if Raven makes the comment of not remembering seeing this in the design, it's because I just kind of randomly decided, hey, why not? Essentially, between this and the frosting layer, there's I, not going to be I a mic I cannot alarm. keep you in frame. <laughs> Trying to contain Cat in the frame. Very difficult. I cannot be contained. This is so much glitter. It's going to have a mica line at the top. Yep. That's intentional? Yep. I'm breathing glitter. <laughs> this is gold digger all over again. <laughs> There's glitter all up on you. <sighs> She's spinning like a Disney princess. I don't know what to do with this one right now. <laughs> Ugh, let me clean these molds. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll get ready to mix up the frosting. Alright, so I've got our frosting here. I'll be taking over for the... Oh. Jeez, icing portion here. See, you almost can't see the ungodly amount of glitter I put on top of the soap now. <laughs> Almost. Uh, quite a bit more liquidy than I was expecting. I have faith in you. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Light dusting. You hear that, guys? Light dusting. <laughs> I think that stopped being a light dusting like... <laughs> <laughs> several several squeezes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty light dusting. So we got some embeds. We got uh, some some really pretty red roses here. Tuxedo mask. Yep. We got some putty tats. Luna and Artemis. And then these little bits where I'm mildly disappointed because the hollow glitter sunk to the bottom, but they still look pretty cool. The silver crystal. Yes. We finally got some new melt and pour. Very excited for that. Previous melt and pour was kind of not working out great for us. No, it's it very was not. sweaty. So this is some new low sweat melt and pour. So I will fully admit I have been having a good time watching this show. Even with how dark it just got. Yeah, even with that. I mean. You did watch Magical Girl Raising Project. Ugh. That one was rough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one you told me about was pretty rough, too. Which one? Uh, I think it was Madoka. Oh, yeah. Madoka. Yeah. That one was... You didn't... I don't, know, did you, you didn't, I don't think you finished that one. That one's oh. a really long one. Is it weird that I like the whole loaf to be aesthetically pleasing? Like, I like the individual bars to be super pretty, too. But then, like, I require the whole loaf to be aesthetically <laughs> pleasing as well. No, I don't think that's weird. Oh, yeah, we uh, we even decorated the sample bars, guys. Look at that. Watch your arm there. I'm trying. I'd be so mad if, we, <laughs> if I messed this up <sighs> after all the work. So here they are. Get your little Luna and Artemises and your roses. We're gonna let these guys cure for 18 to 24 hours and then we're gonna cut them. So be back tomorrow. Play the music of our people. Yes. The music of the sopers. Oh no! Oh, it's okay, buddy. You can just pick it up. So, can y'all see this? Can y'all see this? If I go much lower. I there you go. Okay. Now we can see it. So the black did not quite come out black. 
kind of hoping that it discolors. Well, it, it is a fragrance that discolors, so fingers crossed. And uh, we are once again cutting in the middle of the day, so uh, don't mind my boy over there with his Play-Doh dinosaur. <laughs> um, it's fine. Ooh. I really hope that discolors, because that looks really cool. <laughs> right? I feel like it didn't quite do the, uh... The stars, how you were hoping? Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. There's so much glitter in this soap. It's great. <laughs> There's a lot of glitter. It is really glittery. Like, you're turning it in the light, and I can see all the glitter in the soap. Not just where you placed the individual glitter lines, but, like, in the soap itself. It's I love very you, glittery. Mommy. I love you too, sweetheart. What are you filming? We are filming. Oh. It's a lot of noise right now. My husband's on the phone no. with uh, my mother in law, and <laughs> the kids are up, and <laughs> they're watching Delightful in the other, the other room. I like Delightful. I like Delightful too. So, so we got a little, little Luna here. <laughs> yeah, we in color. I mean, it does look like nighttime though. Is it, okay, I'm, I'm thinking of the intro for the show, and there's a couple scenes where the night sky does look kind of like that. Like yeah. Weird. Where it's that kind of color scheme. I'll see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'll throw a picture up now. That's what I was thinking of, too, when I came up with this design was the intro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you <gasps> use the, this like... is the Tribal Fire? This is the Tribal oh, Fire. Oh, I like it a lot. It has fire in the name. Of course I use it. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of folks in the soaping community have been talking yeah. about this new red from Nurture, the Trial by Fire, as an alternative to the really red, because the Trial by Fire is not supposed to bleed, which has been a problem with the really red. So, hey, it looks great. I'm I am sure there I'm sold. In trying to cut through embeds. <laughs> Melt and pour embeds. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm really glad the next like design on the docket with its ago. column embeds are all cold process with the... Uh, Soap dough. <laughs> oh, I remember which one's next. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm so excited to do that uh -huh. one. <laughs> I'm excited for this one too because I really like how the, the frosting and the embeds came out, but um, I'm also really excited for the next one. It's another YouTuber. Very excited for how that's going to come out. Such a pretty pink. If, if you'd like to play along, if you'd like to put a guess in the comment what YouTuber soap you think we're doing next, I would be very yeah, curious to hear your guesses. Hey. Oh, jeez, look how close Luna caught it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's man. a little impression of Luna on the other bar. <laughs> Every time I get to that embed, it is. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no! Maybe we can melt it back on. <laughs> oh no! Oh, tragedy. Tragedy! Oh no! <laughs> Mountain pour. Mountain pour. Yeah. No, glue it back on. You glue it back on with melting pour. That might have to be your bar. Okay. Okay, so here are the finished Sailor Moon bars. I'll give another shot for you in about a week or two to see how they're looking after they've hopefully discolored a little bit. But it, I don't know if you can tell, but they are absolutely glittery. There you go. You can see it in the light. Not just where we put the glitter lines, but also in that black is very glittery. <laughs> All right. Good job, Kat. And those moons look so pretty. And then we've got our Luna and Artemis and all our other little embeds. Gosh, that pink on the frosting though. All so right. pretty. All right, see you back in a couple weeks. Okay, so here's the update. They have been sitting for nearly two weeks now. And it's definitely darkening up quite a bit. Here's one of the other ones. Sorry. Kids are awake. Uh, so here's one of the other ones. So absolutely darkening up quite a bit. This is looking really good. Smells great. So as usual, we'd love it if you like, comment, and subscribe. You can always pick up our soaps at catandravendesigns.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. 
on Facebook and Instagram. We're Cat and Raven Designs. On TikTok, we're just Cat and Raven. So with that, this is all done. Looking great. It'll be available in a few more weeks. So we'll catch you later. Bye, everybody.